Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean stream. Hopefully everybody's getting notifications. It looks like we are getting some viewers this time. YouTube did not cut me off like last time. Apparently last week's creator challenge it did not send out notifications right away. Some people didn't get them at all. So I'm just glad to see we got people joining in right now. And we are here today, first off, going to say goodbye to the starter planet. Uh, Stetia, I think it was. We're going to say goodbye to it. And I'm going to go ahead and show he is not typed in the chat yet, but I have decided to replace my Merc small vessel from J. Randall with Excalibur's new small vessel, the Talon Blade. Because after trying it out for the showcase uh, video and just playing with it a bit, I really like it. I love the heavily armored front, which gives me that capability. If I want to, I can still fly from outside, so that's nice. You know, I can actually see first person view. And it doesn't have quite as much storage as the Merc, but I wasn't using all that storage anyway. I mean, it was nice organization to it, but this has overall better features. So I did switch to a new small vessel, have everything ready to go. And hopefully everybody's going to start piling in. But what we're going to do is leave our Star Planet area today. And I need a new place to go. So I've been looking and thinking about this. And I don't know if at some point the devs put this in. My assumption would be that some kind of thought process towards, hey, if there is a planet that is the closest one in the system to the sun to our star, wouldn't it be the warmest one? So I'm assuming this is going to be like a desert type planet. This one will probably be more of a moderate style planet like ours, maybe a little colder. Uh, it does seem to have some kind of, I, I guess, maybe oceans there. Maybe it's the more water world type one. This definitely, I just think it, it's the closest one to the sun. It should be the hottest one. And that makes me think that this one, Ray Earth, is going to be the big ice cube one. The snowball planet, fully covered in snow. Now, we do have a moon for it. Gorm, or Gorn, I think that's Gorn. It's, it's kind of hard to tell with the text. If, but yeah, that's an O-R-N. So, Gorn has a moon, and Tarbis doesn't. We already know that. So, it's a question of do we want to go hot, temperate, or cold? And do we need a moon to explore, or are we going to rely on the chance of it being a nice, even asteroid belt? And thanks for joining us from uh, Italy, Argonoth. Uh, lava planet. So we're thinking uh, Tarbis, I guess, is the lava planet. And uh, go to the lava planet to get toasted spice. No, no, no. We'll skip that. I know lava planet is supposed to be where we get a restroom still. And I'm assuming that the swampy world at least the moon of the swampy world is where we're still going to get uh zascosium maybe but uh, i think uh okay so we're going to go to tarbis is everybody agreeing that tarbis is probably the lava world or desert world it could be a desert world doesn't have to be lava could just be nice hot dry desert uh and go there for that <laughs> gold I don't think I need that much gold, Iron Witch. I actually do have a good bit of gold uh, already, I believe, for what I need. Unless I, you know, decide to start adding in some NPCs here and there. I really don't need that much gold. I believe I do have... Oh, yeah, I've got a good bit of gold right there. I'm fine for gold. Uh, yeah, I, I'm still thinking Tarbis probably is the desert world, but... Who knows? We don't even have to stop there. We can always just fly out there. And then scope it out. Oh yeah, this is not what we want. Let's move on to the next. So I don't have to stay there. And oh, I, I do have one constructor going. If you're wondering why it's uh, in the yellow setup. I have one going that's making my fuel. Now that I have completely dismantled my base back on the planet. So you know what? Uh, everybody's saying lava. Let's go to Tarbis then. It doesn't have a moon, but you know, it's it's either going to be a desert world or a lava world. If it's that close to the star, hopefully... Oh, <laughs> it might help if I make sure to put the pentacid in as well, since I haven't jumped yet in this. Uh, hopefully, if it is just a desert world, we can uh, 
we'll have another jump from nearby and go on. I would assume the lava world has to be near the star in terms of logical uh, aspect. And what is it? 64? We'll go ahead and uh, match this out. There we go. Perfect. 64. So we can jump around a bit. If it doesn't work out, we'll jump around and see what else we find. But I, I'm just... I would hope the devs thought about the idea of, hey, why would we have a lava world at the far edge of the solar system? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have enough warmth from the sun. You need it to be close. So it needs to be a progressive thing like Goldilocks zone for temperate and then hot. And this does not look to be desert. <laughs> it looks to have a urine ocean, urine seas all around. Maybe that's the lava and it just looks like P from space. I see we don't have an asteroid belt again. We have just a blob of asteroids, uh, which is disappointing. I was really kind of hoping to get something that I can actually fly around and harvest and have a reason to use the uh, mining lasers, which I have not even added yet because I haven't found an asteroid to use them on. Yeah, it does look like P. It also looks like, I see your clouds, I see clouds in some spots, but there's also, uh, kind of looking right there, that little gray spot looks almost like it could be the top of a mountain range, but then you see the mountain range to the side, and I don't see any snow caps there, that might just be like a, a non-P water source. Fog planet, okay. <laughs> Acid. Melted gold. We got all these different ideas for what it is. It still looks like pee. We're going to say it's, it's hopefully not an ocean of pee. I don't think it's going to be melted gold because if it's melted gold, I don't think the, like a suit of nothing but EVA boost would be able to handle the temperature for melting gold and keeping it melted like that the whole time. And I don't want to go down yet with the, uh, with the capital vessel, I just want to get kind of close where I can hopefully find my way back easily enough. Oh, yeah, there we go. And, yeah, we got a little bit of that fogginess showing. So, this definitely seems to be more of that radiated fog planet. And took a second for it to realize I was stopped. So, yeah, we're just going to fly down. And do the, uh, use the talon blade for this. And I am not going to drink it. I, I don't care if it is not pee. I am not drinking it. And let's see. Let me make sure. I put in what wep uh, what ammo I have for the different weapons on this. But I have not gone and made ammo for anything yet. Because I do kind of want to get more Promethium first. Oh. And of course we've got a full radar already. It's kind of lagging. Yep. We are on a fog planet. Now let's see, who's that said the fog planet? Yeah, Don, you named it. You got it right. Radiated fog planet. So, obviously, also a very cold temperature. 100, minus 130 degrees Celsius. And I'm the closest planet to the sun. So, that's interesting. I guess this is like ice? Snow, maybe? I don't seem to have any place here to make water. It says tundra, so let's let's hop out and see. All right. Not seeing any animals. Oh, a bunch of mushrooms over there. And time to get my uh, jetpack going again. You know what? Quick little scan. I feel like we need larger creatures in the game. I, I I want to see like a big big dinosaur, not a raptor. I want to see like a, a Brachiosaurus type thing. You know, a big sauropod walking in eating leaves off the trees. That's what I want to see. I want to see something like that. We need, if we're going to have dinosaurs in the game, let's have some big ones. Let's have like elephant type creatures. Something like that. Uh... All right, we got one to the north, but three to the west. We're going to go this way. I'm going towards the numerous stuff. It says three things, so we're going to go this way. And I'm keeping my eyes peeled. At least there is water. 
of some kind, acid, irradiated, uh, saline solution. Uh, that means I should be able to do some water production there. Okay, uh, I'm no longer seeing... Oh, there we go, we finally got one. Getting some stuttering, too, from that. A new stubby dinosaur? I don't want stubby, I want... I want, like, massive... Doesn't have to be a, you know, predator. Just needs to be some kind of big dinosaur. Oh, that would be an interesting thing. Maybe like a, uh, a new Xerax at some point that uses like the cloaking technology of the predators from the movies. You have them like, oh yeah, he's a, uh, he doesn't use a gun. He uses like hand-to-hand -hand type combat. So his point is to try to sneak in close to you so all you see is that little silhouette type thing as he's he's coming at you that'd be interesting Oop, Prometheum deposit and I did not bring uh, any auto miners with me at this point but oh, see another uh, little drone there so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into the uh, Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, I forgot I took one of my jetpacks out, uh, or my uh, jetpack boost, and so I don't have as much uh, jump power anymore, and I guess I'm going to have to do it this way. Oh, of course it doesn't want to come down now. I forgot all about that. I have, like, no jetpack power anymore. Uh, okay, we'll do this. No! No! Alright. I don't want to do it. But I've got to. I'm going to have to god mode this to get back up there. I don't want to be stuck like this. Oh. Hey there, Pronaut. And hey, Highlander. Alright, we're going to do this because I just don't want to be stuck. I've, I just got to this planet. I was trying to just get up top and do this. That's all I wanted to do. And of course, now. It, it drops. Okay, old base! Somebody was here. And uh, they're already sending the troops after me. I think that's two more drones over there. Alright, just in case. Going a little bit lower. So, you know, if it messes me up, I'm, I'm okay with that. There we go. Uh, so many animal noises here, and I see none. <laughs> and again, wolves. If, there, if there's uh, wolves in the sounds, why do I not have wolves coming after me actually in the game? I should have some kind of wolf-like creature. Oh, the drone coming after me now. says press F and I can't get it to open anything. Okay. Well, this is not a, uh, a Xerat settlement, I would say. That looks more like a, you know, human style settlement. Ah ha ha! Alright, who's closer? Minigun drones, not going to do much damage. Good. <laughs> you know, for for Gatling guns, they really don't fire that fast. <laughs> they, they don't. It sounds like they are, but they're not. Alright. Getting this drone. And I have not even looked to see what they gave me. Ooh, fusion cells. I like these. These are much better uh, drones. Uh, hey, fabled hero. Hey, pro knight. You did not miss much yet. We are just getting started. And we came to what I was assuming based on the fact that it is the you know closest planet to the star. It would be a uh, hot desert or iron type world. Or uh, a lava world. And uh Instead, we come here and it's this. It's a somewhat colder, or actually now more temperate, down here in the fog. 
uh, type world, which is surprising. And oh, it doesn't seem to be anywhere near as big as the starter planet. It's a size three. I can't remember what was uh what was Stetia four. Okay, so it is smaller than the original planet. That's uh good, and <laughs> I'm not going to be flying all over the place as much as I was. How many, uh, see, two, oh, oh, a restroom, 12 arrest room deposits. Yes! So we are going to get a restroom from here. Uh, cobalt, promethium, copper, yeah, magnesium, so no zascosium, but a restroom deposits, a lot of them, and it has a restroom meteorites, which means if I deplete the whole thing I can still come back here and just have to do a lot of driving around searching for meteorites I'm going to take out every drone I find just so I can get supplies and hopefully their drone base will send replacements for later and I can come back and get more and yes uh, for those of you joining late I know I have other weapons on here that are more effective I have not made all the ammo yet for that. I basically just took everything I had currently in stock and threw it into this, so I'm just trying to use up what I've already got in it. That's okay, uh, it said north. Now it's not north anymore. It's east. We're going to stay along the pole area because that power station. Knew it. There's going to be some kind of better stuff up here. Oh, Nope, I am getting shot now. Let's let's get down. I think I might go ahead. We'll take out something if I have enough. Oh, I've only got eleven rockets because they're homing rockets. Uh, yeah, that's not quite strong enough. Let's see. Oh, I got a decent amount of plasma cannon shots. Let's see, okay, uh, yep, two on that side, probably two on the other side, yep. There we go. Hey, how come you didn't go away? That first one was like nothing. Ah. Oh, I actually have enough, uh, the rail gun too. There we go. Okay, and... Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. There we go. So, a power station. Undefended now. So, we'll keep going. I'm not stopping yet. We'll come back to it. This will probably be more of a case I actually take the hover vessel around, like the Anubis and harvest everything and then or you know harvest the points of interest then go around maybe with the uh the little bumblebee miner may actually abandon the uh capital vessel later on just to drive around this time in a tank and use that as my way of exploring and oh we got ruins And that looks like junk. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. It's basically just a big, big one of the uh, irradiated fog areas back on the starter planet. So we have the whole planet like that. Just a big cesspool. Oh, a crashed DSE front. I'm pretty sure I had a crashed DSE back on the other planet, the starting planet. So... The ship crashed between two different worlds. It, it was that massive, it crashed on two different planets. Yeah, we're going back to the, uh, the Gatling gun. Sorry. Gatling guns, you see, <laughs> keeps them busy where they can't shoot me. Uh, where were you at? I'm here. There we go. We're gonna check this one out at least. It's unprotected. Maybe they'll come after me in a moment. Ah. Oh, you know what? It's also probably the fact... Yeah, we do, we do have an increased gravity here compared to the first planet. So, uh, that's going to be one reason why I can't go as high with my jetpack. There goes the wolves. 
Uh, yeah, come on. Let's let's get some wolves in here. Actual wolves or wolf-like creatures. If you're gonna have them howling at me, at least you know have them in here. <laughs> I I temporarily messed up the game there. I went too fast for it. All right, that just says wreckage. It doesn't even say uh, that's part of the DSC uh, ship. It just says wreckage. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, am I radiated by the environment? I don't think so. I'm getting... Aha! Thrusters! We have some good things here. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be a good haul right here. I, I might go ahead and clear all the good stuff out of this. Mini, little mini bike needs a little bit better uh, turning capability, I think. I don't seem to be able to lean quite so well. And the wheel doesn't want to turn quite as fast as I like it to. Alright, we have... Probably some thrusters on this too, I would expect. Let's see. I, uh, okay, I gotta remember where I put things. As I did just do this, I haven't actually even driven out with it. There we go. Alright, so I do have two cores right now. And I gotta think how I want to organize stuff in this. I have not really played with this in this game other than, you know, what I've done so far in the showcase. Uh, okay. What do I have from here? 15 millimeter bullet. All right. I've got plenty more of that now. That's helpful. Uh, PL charge. SV. That should help. Fusion cell can stay there. Plasma cannon cell. No. Uh, I managed to get a Gatling gun off of one of those. Okay. Oh, and let me, uh, yeah. Fill those up. There we go. Plenty more ammo. All right. Let's, uh, find my way in. Somewhere where I'm not just having to blast this open. That didn't work. Uh, maybe this way? Yeah. Oh. See, maybe I do a core here. Nope, not giving me a core option. So it's got to have one here somewhere. Yeah, double haul here if I can find the core. I'm thinking the other one may not have a core. Oh, yep, another thruster. This will be a good haul for uh, breaking down later on. I will, once I get to a uh, good spot that I'm not worried about getting attacked by a patrol vessel on here with my capital ship, I'll be bringing in uh, the Porto pod that was made at my request to uh, give me a place for a deconstructor, mainly. Uh, oh yeah, I got my... Let's see. Oh, okay. So I probably need to break into there. It doesn't want to open. I'll just blow it up. At least I'm enclosed in glass. All the ground level is protected here. So I can't have like a predator just come running up behind me. Uh, yeah, okay. Cannot sit other factions, so definitely. Uh, ain't having to do this part. Trying to find your way around the doors. Oh, uh, you came across a weird patrol cluster. Uh, that's, oh, that's where I was trying to come in. Okay. I'm taking that. Uh, no core visible here. Also, no real dirt to dig down through. You know what? Let's see. Uh, maybe this. Ah, there we go. There's some stuff. We need, like, better work lights. I really don't ever use those anymore. Especially in this case, I don't think I can even place them down in here because it would count as... You know, the, it's not a vessel, it's technically a base. 
I think is the way they've set it up to count in the game. And oh, okay, yeah, we got a display there. So this doesn't seem to be leading anywhere else. It's an ugly looking ground stone area. Use the tent. Are you talking about use the tent so it becomes daytime again? Because I'm not worried about being nighttime. Oh, except for the fact that I fall and hurt my leg. Maybe, you know, rest up. <laughs> no, I'm not going to worry about doing uh, the nighttime thing right now. Just because I, I mean, it's dark, but I'm not going to really gain much other than that it, it becomes daylight. I'm not going to have anything really producing. So I'm just going to stick with this, see if I can... Uh, Ah, I don't want to keep blowing doors open. I may have to. There may not be any other ways to get around here. I'm not sure if I even get past this thing right here. Let's see if... Oh, I did it. Oh, and I fell again. I may have to do some adjusting on my armor to... Uh, swap things back out. Get my jetpacks boosting a little bit more. Ah. Okay, that's got to be buried somewhere, I'm thinking. Maybe along the front. Maybe this way. Maybe it is like a, an extra piece so, stuck up here somewhere. No? Nope. Not there. So yeah, it's got to be buried back here somewhere. I mean, it's, it definitely has a core. It's giving me a faction thing. So maybe I'm going this way. This is such a good haul. I do want to go ahead and try to find my way into like the core and take it out. I, mean, I can always come back later, but we got time right now. Uh, and then come back later if need be yeah. all right so if the ground is beautiful in its own way it's so black on that little stone area there little tar looking stuff that even in night vision it does not show very well you get like no detail even with night vision yeah. this is gonna be like way way down buried somewhere, isn't it? Come on. Let's just see how deep this goes. This might end up being like, there's some, this is big interior compartment. There's a floor way down below buried in the ground. Oh yeah, this may take a while to get through. I think we're gonna, I'll have to come back to this one. I don't want to spend the next half hour digging down just trying to find that one core. We'll go on and check the uh, other part over here. The wreckage. That's not DSE wreckage, just regular wreckage. I bet I can find a piece here where I can actually see the core. Alright, we are, well, you know, I mean, it's definitely not DSE wreckage, that's for sure now. It's very old, rusted, the DSE looks a little bit newer than this. I like how, uh, I'm still getting radiation off of them. So obviously, the radioactive element is still not fully decayed. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing... Or I don't have to blast that doorway. Let's see. Here we go. We'll see if there's any underneath section. Doesn't look like it. it. Looks almost like that's the bottom of it. Ms. Thanks for the subscribe. Ah. Uh, all right. That looks like the bottom somewhere over here. There's got to be a core. Let's see. Let's see if maybe there's like a lower section here under this. 
There's grates. Oh, landing gear. So, yeah, I'm basically at the very bottom of it. And Rusty Slav, thanks for the subscribe. If you happen to be watching, that is. Let's see. I think, therefore I am, going to drill back here. Uh, maybe. Like under here? Maybe like, not the best ship design. It's actually exposed a little bit under, on the underside. Like, well, hey, just put the core outside. Nobody will shoot it. And it's just kind of buried under here. Or maybe not. I wish you could still bring your hover vessels around and let the weapons, the turrets, automatically try to target for the core. The same way they used to. That would be useful. But, you know, hey, making the game more interesting. You know, not as easy. Alright, there should be another landing gear right around here, maybe. Oh, I found some uh, pinkish-purple soil. This is definitely a more colorful planet than the uh, last one. I at least in terms of the, the dirt itself. Alright, there now we're getting to that plain dark dirt or you know stone might be stone actually or it could be tar it constantly sounds like I'm about to be attacked in this like all I hear is howling and wolves going to come eat my face and uh, yet nothing comes after me Right, I'm going to give this another moment. If I'm missing it, if you see it and I just kind of glance past it, let me know before I keep wandering around looking for a core that is like right in front of my face. No, actually, I, I know I tried to core the other one. Yeah, it won't let me core it. So it's got a core somewhere. Yeah. Other factions, so it's got a core. Just question of where its core is. You know what? Uh, before I go struggling to jump up, let's fly around. Maybe they put it. Is it in the shower? Maybe. Maybe it's in the toilet. Maybe. Maybe they're like, "Hey, hide it in the crapper. Nobody will ever look there." Uh huh. Let's see. Okay. I think this is where I came in. No thruster with a light on it. No, that's that's not. A recipe for disaster. <laughs> Walk right underneath the thruster that has an electrical light on it. You know, something goes wrong. You're standing there just talking to Buddy. Thruster explodes on top of your head. Uh, truly is not on top. I don't see it. it more thrusters. Like, there's two. There's oh, so many thrusters on this. I've got to get this. Julia Callwait. Thank you for the subscribe. Uh, of course not there. That's me. And I can kind of see everything underneath. There's a thruster. That's just a lot of thrusters. Maybe, maybe it's through there. Is that this door? Yeah, okay. That door just leads right there to this door. Um, ooh, RCS, okay. I'm gonna find it now and not be able to find my way over there to it. Ah, check the other side. Maybe they went asymmetrical. I have a feeling that's probably more thrusters there. Ah, oh, there it is! Okay. <laughs> right there, just missed it, yeah. Yeah, I just missed it. Uh, let me think, uh, it's this way? Was it? Yes. Ah, there it is. Right here. There we go. Okay. So now, to make sure I don't mess up later and, like, accidentally collect it too early when I am dismantling this, we're going to put it so somewhere here. 
Ah, oh, come on. I can view well. No there we go. Like that. All right. Now. Salvage. Oh, no. No. It just broke like the whole thing. And half the thrusters. Oh, no. Oh, that... That is another thing that needs to be fixed with this. That should not have been a load-bearing structure for the whole thing. This is either a bug or an intentional bug left in to make it not so easy. Because look at that. I just destroyed two blocks. All I did was try to collect two thrusters and I destroyed the whole thing. And I, that time, that last one was even in the ceiling. Like, I took... That one out. That block there did not destroy everything. I took the other ceiling block out, and the whole structure breaks. That, that is, that's got to be something they're leaving in right now, just to make it where it's not too easy to get supplies. That is, that, that's, uh, that, that shouldn't be that way. Especially the front. I mean, at the, the top side one. When I took that out, that shouldn't have broken stuff far underneath it and now I gotta turn on God mode again to get back up here because it broke everything underneath ah uh, yeah that that's that's not fair that that was a lot of thrusters I just lost there I'm gonna have to start building like I guess putting blocks in and embedding them in the ground all around the vessels when I take them over, just so I don't worry about that happening. And I don't think that's even going to make a difference on some of these. Some of these, it's just, you're going to get that one block up top that shouldn't be load-bearing uh, or, you know, structural integrity of that kind, and suddenly everything breaks. And yet, you'll still have blocks that you take out, and something attached to those blocks stays floating in the air. So that's that's disappointing. I was hoping, you know, I've got a good bit of a restroom. I need Zascosium. I was hoping I would be able to get those for a bunch of that. That would have been really beneficial. And as it stands, I think I only got what two. Let's see. One small thruster and one medium thruster. That's it. Thank you, Doom Noodle, for that. And sorry you couldn't make it last stream. Which also brings up a fact we do need to talk a bit about the uh, November Creator Challenge. I don't think um, we have actually discussed what the idea was I had. And this is actually not even my idea, but it was an idea from a commenter that said... Uh, and let me actually hang on a second. Let me pull this up so I get the name. Maludir Corona had said, what about the use of a hover vessel as a lift type block for a capital vessel type design? Like, oh, hey, this is a capital vessel, but it's actually made to integrate with a hover vessel where the hover vessel is part of the structure of the overall design. You, you know, that sort of thing. So that's kind of stuck with me a bit. When he said that, I was like, that's actually an interesting idea. Maybe it doesn't have to be necessarily a lift, but it could be that the hover vessel adds a bit of the design element to a capital vessel where you actually have to use the hover vessel as part of the capital vessel design. All right, take out Mr. Plasma Drone first on the nets. And we go. So, if you've got any other ideas for November's challenge, I would love to hear them. You go ahead and post them in the chat. And I will try to keep, you know, checking the chat for ideas. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, I kind of like the idea of maybe another one where we try to integrate hover vessels in a certain way where, uh, 
You know, it, it's not something that normally is done. Kind of like we did a drop ship design that, you know, the, the idea of actually, you know, single player, you're not going to drop your hover vessel from your capital vessel way up in the air because you can't, you know, how are you going to get back to it? We don't have remote piloting yet. So, something like that. Doom Noodle, of course you want the Subnautica themed creator's challenge. You keep creating all these Subnautica themed ones. We don't have everybody playing Subnautica. Not everybody here is playing that game. Just like not everybody here also plays Planet Nomads or Space Engineers. What's that out there? Is that just a tree that's actually rendered in or is that maybe a drone stuck? No, it looks like it's just a tree. Bro not play Subnautica 2. Well, I still don't want to make everybody else do that. We need something that is more open and centralized, I guess, towards this in a way. Let's see, what do we have here? Is that the mine? Abandoned factory! Which should mean no... Don't wait, there is a defense turret. Yep. I think. No, no radio, like, antenna type stuff. Okay, so we got an abandoned factory. Oh, I'm getting a shot at, at least. Take those out. Oh, and overlords! Ha! <laughs> or overseer. I don't know why they didn't just call them overlords. Or did they call them overlords originally? I can't remember at this point. Make a realistic ship as in aerodynamics. Well, you know, the, the part of that is going to be somewhat what we have available. We could do that, you know, but it, it's also going to be like theme design and, you know, the idea that you're actually relying on thrust to keep yourself afloat as opposed to having thrusters underneath. Now, that could be an interesting thing if we want to do that. Do, uh... Yeah, no thrusters underneath top thing where you actually have to use it fly that way, but you're not going to get any lift from the wings. We don't have that function in the game as far as I am aware. The, the wings don't actually provide you any kind of aerodynamic lift like, oh, you're flying this and because of the speed you're flying, it gives you lift from the wings. If that was a feature in the game, I'd be all for that. Be like, hey, yeah, let's make this a challenge. You know, no thrusters other than the, uh, you know, forwards and backwards. And, you know, we could still do that. If that's what everybody wants, we could do a theme where the design is only the thrusters for going forward. Nothing for going uh, backwards. Nothing going side to side. It's only for, well, you'll need to be able to turn, obviously. So, nothing for, like, strafing side to side. Nothing for floating in place. That's That could always be an option. HVs and SVs integrated to the uh, CV design? Well, that's kind of what I was saying before, is we did have that suggestion of using an HV as a lift uh, for your capital vessels, where it's actually like part of the base of it. I think it would be a, a nice idea just to have a capital vessel design that maybe the landing struts are hover vessels, so it doesn't land like normal, uh, it has to have those underneath so you can land with that or you know have it where it integrates Here's a, a set of landing struts that are hover vessels to keep it upright And then you can actually if you want just deploy them and then fly back up into space for those of you who are multiplayer, you know server people You could be like oh, hey, we're gonna deploy all of you guys on your different hover vessels fly back up in space And then we'll come back and pick you up by reattaching everything that could be an interesting concept too there. Wow, we're getting a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, drones around these bases. I think, yeah, that got it. Took them long enough to actually start trying to fire at me. There we go. You know, I kind of recognize this design from 7.0, I think. All right, let's see. All right, the base is secured. Now I just need you guys to 
you know, come after me. Oh, yeah, out of range. That's right. Uh, 296. I don't think he's actually even, like, trying to come after me. All right, come on. You know you want to uh, get shot at by me. Mr. Plasma Drone. Other Plasma Drone. You're gonna die! Die, 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 die. Yeah, Gatling guns don't do as much damage, but they really do kind of, uh, they lock them up where they can't attack you so readily. That does help a lot in that regard. All right, let's pop out, grab some supplies. HVs, that could be walkers. I've seen designs like that. Oh, what? who just shot at me? Somebody just shot at me. All right, here. Who's shooting at me? I've already got rid of all the stuff there. I hear it. I hear somebody firing at me. There we go. Ah ha ha. Finally found them. Let's see. We'll do a... Uh, blow up the whole area. Oh! This, the, the little, uh... Sentry robots. I can't see them as well. Like this. It is dark. Alright, I want the plasma drones. They'll have the good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Nope. Yep. Yep, I did. Alright, let's get this real quick before I'm getting bombarded. Or killed while I'm trying to maneuver my drone around. Uh, walkers. Now, I have seen walkers in uh, Plant Nomads. People have started doing... AT, AT designs because they can actually make them walk there which is an interesting element of it but of course we can't do that here so I'm not worried about them actually walking but if we wanted to do that you can make we could actually combine it really if you wanted to do something like the walkers theme have it where uh, we have a walker that is you know it looks like it can walk and it's just for, you know, appearances. And it's actually just a hover vessel that flies uh, or, you know, hovers around. Then we could have a walker type thing that's mil uh, built to be attached to a capital vessel. So that it looks like it's actually the walking legs for the capital vessel. And then we could actually have, uh, if somebody wanted to do it, we could actually have a Texas Walker or Walker Texas Ranger design too. So you have three different walkers there if we wanted to go that route. Not saying we have to. I'm just saying we can. I don't know. I think the uh, walker Texas Ranger would be pretty funny. See somebody try to do that. Oh, oh, there we go. There you are. Mm-hmm. Oh, Rocket Man. They're gonna get in trouble for shooting at your own base. All right, uh, I think, I think I can, uh, make this work. All right, let's see. Yes. See what you got. Thought I blew up one of them here. Did he despawn that quickly? Really wasn't like I did I didn't take that long. Yeah, okay. Mechanoid, I want your stuff. There we go. Alright. 
Getting a little heftier uh, defenses around here. Huh? There you are. Kind of hard to see. All right. I'm still good. So, uh, space station challenge. We haven't done specifically a space station challenge. That could be an option. I mean, part of the challenge I did is again, as I've said in the past, I wanted to create designs that hopefully will get people attention on the workshop, not just focusing on weird designs or things like that. I want stuff that maybe will be like, wow, that's a cool design and you get uh, attention on the workshop, which means you get more attention to your other designs, hopefully. And of course, maybe creating something that the devs are like, we really like that. That's a cool idea. Maybe, you know, That's a cool concept design, things like that get maybe new things added to the game that can then be referenced to us be like oh hey look you know so and so did it for one of the uh, creator challenges by Mr. Spicy and that's a cool concept there we go come on ah oh, that's like two good shots there all right that one has got no, I'm not even going to worry about that yet. Let's get the, uh... Let's get these. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 I blew up half of it! My plasma cannons are so powerful. Look! I haven't even taken it over yet, and I'm breaking it apart. That is absolutely a physics issue there with the uh, whole, you know, structural integrity because I just, I mean, all I did was take out one turret on each side and that whole side then falls apart. Oh, it's headquarters. I broke half of their headquarters. Like, the two big halves of it is already broken. I can see why they got so much heavy defense here. Whoa! I think I may have missed one over here. Oh, no, no, plasma drone. No, no, we'll go back to this. Alright, let's do this. Go, 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 go! Oh, slow down! The one time it actually decides to go at a steady speed for the drone. Yeah, you know, I was gonna try to get it where it's still trying to fall and calculate the uh, trajectory of the fall. Give me stuff. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah. If we do the space station thing, we will have to limit the size because I do again. You know want to be something people will get off the workshop and want to use and for that you really need it to be usable on servers as well I don't play on servers I don't care if you want to go super big with it in that regard but for the sake of other people that might want to uh, try it out you know you probably do want to keep it at a lower size so they can use it too oh come on come on what oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think that should be everything except some guns over here. It's either uh, defense guns. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's it. Look. One of the guns was still holding up. They're holding up that. Look at that. The sentry gun didn't break. And look, there's a Pete's right there just floating in the air on each side. That's, that's a bug. That's just a bug. That definitely causes some uh, frustration and heartache. Ooh, ah, you will not shoot me, Mr. Plasma Drone. No. I won't allow it. All right, now, taking you. See, now that one's getting stuck. Why couldn't it do it before when I was trying to catch that one?
And I thought that one was coming after me, was it? We'll do. Another plasma drone here. This one. Oh, all these little defense tower stations. Instead of fortifications like on the uh, first planet, we have these. Oh, I can see a drone over there. I think. Kind of turned weirdly. I'm still getting shot to some gun over there. We'll go over here, take you out. Iron deposit. Give me a second to hang out. Oh, wow. It fell on top of my ship. It fell on my head as I stepped out of my cockpit. Ah. Uh, I think we'll just, uh, I could try to do a poll again. I mean, yeah, I could do that. So I know we got the space station one, we've got the, you know, capital vessel. I, I, I think hover vessels will be better for the capital vessel integration rather than trying to do it with small vessels. Small vessels maybe could add like, you could add some smaller wings or weird wing sections that way. But I think the, the capital vessel and hover vessel thing will work better in terms of the integration as part of the design. And of course the walkers. You know, actually now that I'm thinking about it, the walker design is interesting. And it does leave it open a bit more, saying not just walker, like, you know, it doesn't walk kind of thing. Obviously, we're not doing that. It's not plant nomads. It's not space engineers. But uh, a walker design that is meant to attach to a capital vessel and also walker designs that you can just use standalone, like a hover vessel that looks like it's going to uh, just, it's a walker. Very... Come on. Surely I got you. No? Did I? Ha ha ha! Alright, quit shooting me. There we go. Finally. Oh, what's my health at? 97%. I'm good on this right now. Uh, I want to see... Yeah, Xerax. Thank you, buddy. Oh, yeah. I actually do need to eat some food, too. <laughs> we'll eat some of these. Now, I saw the little uh, bat dog creatures. Bat dog! What they are. They're bat dogs. So, we know we got those running around. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to park on top, right above the door. There we go. Time to check for repairs around here. You know, I'm flying with the top cockpit so I can actually like look around. And it's easier to get into and out of. So when I actually do want to like pop out with the drone, that helps. And not have to try and avoid falling. But, same time, uh, I know I could use the interior cockpit one. Wow, so that's easy. All you gotta do is blow up the turrets around it. And then you basically have two sentry guns on it, and that's it. Oh, I did this to be easier to get up there, and this increased gravity, and one less, uh... Jetpack upgrade is not helping. There we go. Like that. Oh boy, okay. Uh, that one, yeah. I'm gonna toss everything in for the moment. Haha, <laughs> night vision goggles. I don't care about. PL charge SV. Alright, I think I can use that. Uh. Using a CV, uh, CV and SV wouldn't restrict because you can use that as, well, I mean, if you're using it as like a landing attachment type thing, you won't need them in space then, technically. It wouldn't be like, oh, hey, let me toss this, you know, let me hook this up and I have to use it for this function while it's flying around. You obviously wouldn't be using it anymore for the, uh, 
for like defensive purposes like I would really love to be able to do is add, augment with better defenses but it can't do that anymore I think that worked drop PL charge yeah so I got some more PL charges yay and I'm just gonna go ahead and eat that to get it out of the way um, is it this one yes this one actually I'll go ahead and do that so I get some power out of it Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something with my thrust, my jetpack boost on this. Uh, core? No, that's that's uh, up oh, cores in there. I can see it, and I actually shoot it from here. So let me kind of target it. Yeah, okay. I can snipe it through the crack. There we go. One down. And now we'll do this. There we go. Because now I'm going to take your power. Let's see what we got. 218. I think we, yeah, there we go. 210. Yeah, I'll take some oxygen. I need to check my. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't. I, I, uh, I can't even get that much out of it. Well, great. Oh, I'm doing that. There we go. That, 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 that. Okay. <laughs> I broke the, the thing underneath. Okay. That's enough. Not really much on that. Oh, come on. All right. Land here. Do that. Oh, I lost myself off. Yeah, this is this this heavier gravity, weaker jetpack is not working for me right now. Well, I, hey, don't don't launch me off the side. There we go. I kept hitting the side of the corner. It launched me into the air. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. Some stuff, nothing really outstanding. Not like massive, you know, thrusters that are going to give me a lot of goodies. And oh, I'm back on the uh, the inside one. Yeah, I need to go outside. Ah. Oh. All right, let, let's go up top. This way I can easily get out for using my drone. And, aha, more plasma cannon. All right, so I've got defense. That was, uh, that's a defense four. And there's a defense four. And that's a defense three. And we got the headquarters. I think I was still getting shot at one point by the headquarters, too. Look at that, just broken. It's all broke. Oh, look, that door right there is just hanging out in the open. I don't know if I trust uh, not getting shot by something. Thank you for joining us, Jonathan. Glad you can make it. We'll be going for a good little while still. I've got a good bit of time for today. Hi, I am healthy. And I'm not going to be get back up here. <laughs> uh, that's that's too high for this gravity and jetpack power. Uh, I, yeah, I gotta have to just do this. I didn't want to do this because I'm too close to the ground, but I need to be able to get in it quickly. There we go. We're gonna do that. Keep my uh, raw meat nice and refrigerated. And oh oh ah oh, oh. that's unusual. Normally the doors don't open right up. Normally they don't open for me. Normally it's I gotta blow it up. Alright. Alright, that's the important elevator. Those are guarding the elevator there, not this other one, so that's the important one. 
I, I will assume it's the important one. It's like the one that leads to the core, I guess. Because why else would you be guarding it? Okay. Ahaha! Ha! Goes to the outside, which I can't get to now. Now's right. It's probably the other elevator comes up from the other side. So it probably leads to the same core, you know, room area. Which just means that I could get there from the other side. They just decide to guard one elevator and not the other. Alright. Now that's not fun. That's not fair. Shooting me through the corner there. Aha, uh -huh, how about that? How do you like that, huh? Oh, if only I could snipe you from here. With my drone. Oh, yeah, and I need to use uh, health pack because SV still don't have a medic station. Oh, yeah, I don't have to do that. I can just retrieve. Yep, that's the other elevator. It's basically it's like, hey, you know, same room, same place, but only one needs to be protected. Watch, that's going to be another outside section. All right, what's up top at the very top? Uh, row, uh, sprout, and something. <laughs> so that one was just sealed. I was going to have to blast my way in regardless. That, that it's okay. Now, I guess I'm not close enough to these for the spawners to activate. So, if there's one up here, which it doesn't seem to be one up here. Alright, time to... I still have the core? No, I don't. I need to get my core from my ship, and we'll core this. Yeah, it's funny. You know, I shoot the guy in the head, and he's just looking, and I'm like, Bob? Bob? Hey! Get up! Quit slouching on the job. If anybody's taking a nap, it's me. Alright, let's see. I need... Well, let's dump this stuff first. Ooh, upgrades. Uh, oh yeah, I need to... I should probably put that somewhere. Uh, we'll do that. Actually, keep that. We'll eat. Don't really need that much, but... I've got plenty. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. There we go. Okay, rest can go in the fridge here. And my medic. Do have a medical supplies. I did go and sell a bunch of the ointments and stuff to one of the trader guys at uh, one of the, you know, locations. But in the end, it was like, wow, I just sold all these. He can't buy anymore. Uh, I, I guess I'm done selling them. So I've kind of got a lot left still. All right, core, give me a core, and I'm gonna have to make some more. Oh yeah, look at that frosty, frosty ground there. That snowy, you know, not a, a lot of snow, but a little, you know, frosty ground area. And let's, actually, we're going for uh, stability. Yeah, I didn't think that one block should destroy it. I mean, yes, the core is outside, but I, I, I do not remember hearing at any point that they specifically target cores. That they're going to sit there and oh, core! Shoot it! Now, they, they might. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think that's going to be the case. So now, let's get some good supplies out of this that before I go falling out there. Uh, I don't have to use anything <laughs> right now on the... the Medical scanner. Oh, yeah, more stuff. Okay. Like that. Yes, medical device. Uh-huh. i to clear these out as I get them. Oh, some... It looks like... Yeah, detox kits. Not really using detox kits all that much. All right. Uh, we got... That already got it. That's done. This, this, and this, and this. 
taking power. Like, you know, it, it's free power. And if I can, I'm taking oxygen. 327. Come on, that should give me at least, I think, 250. Yeah, I get 250. That one bit of 250 out. I do like the little cover on the fuel tanks. That's a nice little touch. Oxygen tanks. We're going to go all the way up here. Take a look around. <laughs> Maybe I should have left that one for a moment. Oh, oh I missed that one. Okay. Uh, going all the way up. Very top. This, 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 this. That, that, that. That, that. And I'm on the top of the world! Yay! Alright, so the rest are disarmed. Uh, you know, I can come back later. I don't really need to worry about it too much right now. Let's see. I'm going to try not to fall too heavily. I am heavier on this. You know, only like one-tenth of my weight. Oh, somebody decided to start shooting at me like crazy. Oh. All right, I saw you die. Yeah, that is one drawback to having uh, the thrusters off to save some power. In that regard. It takes you a moment to get them turned back on. Alright, give me stuff. Give me your goods. Okay, let's take an assessment here. I've already got... Three out of four on that. I have not found a single arrest room yet. Ah! Come on, give me some arrest room. I need more of that. Yeah, cobalt. It's probably gonna be all around like the South Pole area. Have I actually? Wow, I've actually pretty much covered the entire Northern Hemisphere. So I'm gonna go. We'll go down a bit south because hey, I've got a thing on the radar saying there's something there. And uh, then we're gonna, you know what? Just follow along the equator, try to map more of it. I don't know if there's actually uh, going to be a patrol vessel on this. I will assume a patrol vessel, but... You know. We already found the headquarters in the heavily armed area. I didn't see anything for a uh, landing platform. And... You know, we got stuff to the west. Thought east, because, you know, rise in the east, set in the west kind of thing. Maybe go towards the sunrise, but... We've got stuff in that direction, so let's go there. So, this, uh, if you're asking about spooky stuff, just like Doom Noodle says, we already got spooked when I had a structure partially collapse on me twice after removing one block on it. That should not have been a uh, structural integrity type block. So that, you know, sudden, sudden break and ow, my ears as the, you know, game blast you're hearing away. That, that can be spooky. Have that little, that heart racing afterwards. I think with the size of this planet and the fact that I'm actually moving at a good speed with the, you know, small vessel, I'm doing pretty well. I think we can actually map the whole thing out pretty much. Uh, once, uh, before the stream's over. That kind of looks like a tent over there. I know it's not, but that one right there right there in that spot. Looked like a tent almost. Ooh, we've got a bunch of stuff down to the south. I still want to stick with a, you know, grid type approach though. Definitely going to take out the plasma drone. More stuff to respawn later. Assuming that it actually will, you know, yeah, drop finally. And I got it. Don, I, I or uh, Jonathan, I did go ahead and get that, uh, Get the cockpit before I saw your uh, message there. If this one breaks, I can always go to the interior one and just replace this later. 
the the internal one's gonna be a lot harder for them to take out. Oh yeah. All right, you stop shooting me. All right, we're gonna take you out real quick, just so I don't have you sneaking up on me while I'm collecting my supplies. Now there's one, there's two. That should be close enough. Oh, we got one over there too. Find a really good concentrations of drones on this planet. Very good uh, haul so far. And oh, the scrapings, my fire moss or something. Again. Oh, he's coming reinforcements. I think. I did have a warning of a troop transport coming after me at one point. Still have not seen that. Yeah, the power consumption goes high when you're flying forward, uh, I think, as it's like initially getting balanced out. Uh, but I mean, most part, it doesn't fly all that, you know, like with really heavy power usage. It actually has really good overall uh, longevity on the time, on, you know, power consumption. Not, not getting in the acid if I can avoid it. Oh, another one. You guys are just everywhere. They're coming out of the woodwork, uh, as in trees. The forest. They're hiding. Uh, actually, wow, I can't even get that. Oh, yeah, I can go there. There we go. Wish they fix it where it would automatically, like, uh, if something is your hot bar and you can stack more in there, why not put it in the hot bar stack? Why put it in the inventory as a separate stack? Let's see. We got all these goodies. Actually, I'm going to take that and put that to use now. Ah, medical food. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, can't use that one. All right, we're up to a second boss now. At that. My medical. My ammo. And some O2 to help me out in here. Which I can't put it in. It's, it's There's not enough room for it. We don't have it in here? Yes. All right. Uh, back up top. Again. So I can easily deploy my drone. Let's see. Uh Okay, Doom, so you fixed all the uh the heat issues. That's good. Hey, it's a learning experience, Doom. I mean I'm still finding stuff from because of people commenting about certain things that I miss. You know, I'm still learning things to look for in the reviews myself. So it's a learning process. You sometimes, you know, you can't think of everything. And sometimes you end up, you know, just having to have somebody else see something you're missing. You know, that whole idea of being too close to it, yet you can't see the big picture, I guess. You're too close, you can't see that you're you're missing this one thing. Like, I keep missing, I missed the core earlier in that one. It was like right there, and I just went right past it. Because I was looking too hard for other, for it elsewhere. I say, what is this? Abandoned drone base. I think we've had one of those before when I was doing the experimental. Which means it should not have any active weapons on it. it should have power, but no external like turrets or anything, which means I should be okay to just sit here and shoot you guys.
this is one of those I think that I had uh, before. Yeah, yeah, this one where you go inside, you got all the scorpions all around. And I hear them. I hear the scorpions already, so it's the same one. I am not going to worry about it right now. We've seen this one. You know, I'll come back to it later when I'm like wandering around with my, my tank. Doing a lot of collecting and harvesting. Back west, I'm making sure I'm kind of staying in the right area. Well, thank you for that, Doom. I, I'm, I like showing off the designs, and if I can help... That's why I'd say if you want to submit a design for the showcase type thing, you've got to submit your own design. Don't submit, like, hey, will you take a look at this design by so-and-so, because I'm not going to do that. That... If that creator is not wanting to see a video, they're not going to get any help from it. But if I look at it and design and I point out something in the design and the creator asked, then they'll get something out of it. And we found the patrol vessel. Let me get my, uh, my cannons are armed as best they can be. Mm hmm. There you go. Bam! Oh, quit. Hey, quit moving. There we go. Oh! Interesting. And that's not even trying to target me. There it goes. So because of that one bit of uh, blocks there, it was acting like I was untargetable. And those are not actually... There we go. I had to shoot them a little bit. Get their attention. Ghost Patrol. Maybe I shouldn't attack them. They're looking for ghosts. That kind of, you know, protects me from ghosts in this game. Uh, stop moving, please. I can't even dock with you. I can't interact with you like this. I don't want to blow up your thrusters. I want to uh, steal them. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave him patrolling. He can't attack me now unless he goes in for repairs. I don't remember hearing about them being able to land and get repairs. That would be cool. You know, oh, I made it away from being attacked. I'm going to go get repaired. <laughs> I don't think they do it, but that should be something they can do if you don't take them down quick enough. We'll leave him for a moment. Somewhere over here. I don't want to actually... I want to see if I can mark him, and it will follow him. Let's see if it will actually keep up with him. No, we won't remove on approach. We won't keep it there. Nope. It is not following him. Ah. That would have been nice. Easy, but nice. I still want to see. I do have another design I want to try. To see it, how well it will work. And it's an SV design from Atlas Gaming that was specifically done as a, you know, I suggested for a creator challenge. He made it anyway just because. So I actually kind of have one I do want to try just for that specific purpose of the uh, patrol vessel. To see how well it will let me get inside and maybe actually work within the patrol vessel to do stuff. All right. I I think I've locked in on the next spot. Looks like another piece of wreckage. Yep. Another standard wreckage that's going to blow up the moment I sit there and start taking stuff apart, probably. So I'm not going to worry about that one yet. I will come back with more blocks and try to build it up and see if I can keep it from just disintegrating on me. I know where to look for the core now, but I want to make sure it doesn't just decide to break completely apart on me when I take one little thruster block out. So I might see if I can add some blocks to it, if that will help. Ah, finally, sun. And I've still got stuff to the north that I was apparently did not get close enough for. Go this way. Ah, there we go. Now it's west. Prometheum. No, I haven't found... I still haven't found a single restroom deposit. It's got to be that they're somewhere all clustered together. I know before in the lava plants, I would always find them in like 
one big cluster and then like this one little spare one or two laying around elsewhere. Make sure I'm getting enough coverage on the map. Oh, what is this? Factory again? Abandoned factory. Two abandoned factories on the same planet. Oh, uh, you know what? You're little. I'll pick on you first. There we go. Ha ha ha. Now you. Bye bye. All right. Let's level. Hop out. Getting a little bit of lagginess to my game now. Oh, I hear. Sounds like scorpions. And nightmares. When are they going to redo the nightmare design? That needs to be redone. Alright, so two abandoned factories. That should give me a good bit of supplies. Not great, like, thruster type supplies. You know, thrusters, the big ones from the capital vessels, usually when you break them down, give you a good bit of a restroom and zascosium. Now, granted, I will find a restroom here some point, but, you know, having uh, that stuff for more zascosium would help. I think I've already been to this one over here. Let's, yeah, I've already been to that. Looks like we've got a fresh drone, though. They sent the reinforcements I was hoping for. Oh, no, troop transport. This is where they got stuck. Oh, they're like, crap, we're getting shot. Go, go, go. Oh, that's a different looking transport, too. I think it looks different. Quit, like, jiggling when I shoot you. Ha ha ha! Upside down! I hope the troops are strapped in. That would have been a really rough ride. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, it's, uh... Is that actually water, or is that... That, uh... Yeah, that's water. Oh, crap, there we go. Or, you know, acid, as everybody was saying earlier. I didn't know if it was like just really thick fog that you can't see down through. Nothing. It's like Pentaxi crystal though. Like a, a mineable type one. All right. Oh yeah, what's this? What's, oh, stealth outpost. Well, it's not stealthy if I detected it. Ooh, bunch of uh, weapons. Uh, there we go. We're going to stay over this side a bit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I actually took, like, uh, significant damage there. I think I lost a weapon. Maybe. Hey, you can't shoot through there. That's cheating. Alright. Uh... Let's see if I get shot by any Xerats. Nope, but big blue spider. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see. Uh, I've, I've seen this design before. I think I'm kind of used to it. Oh, oh, who getting me there? Yep. We need the spiders and stuff to attack others. Like, the, the spiders don't need to work with the Xerats. They need to uh, attack the Xerats, too. Oh, there you are. Now I see you. Who's shooting? I heard the clink. Oh, maybe that's the spider getting at me. Alright, we're gonna try 
and see if I can get stuff before I get like attacked too heavily. That might be the spider being able to spit at me on this one. I don't know if they can spit, but he's trying. Did I get this guy? No, I didn't. Okay, good. There we go. Let's see. Hi! I'm gonna get a look at you. It, it's uh, a blue widow. <laughs> yeah, it's a blue widow. We're calling him that. Blue widow spider. Yeah, he's he's the one that's like being real ornery. <gasps> he is spinning at me. How rude! I didn't know the spiders could actually spit, or maybe they can on this planet, but not the uh, the starter one. Okay, you. Drone. Droney drone. Alright, some gun still in there shooting at me. Oh, God. oh yeah, alright. I'm, I'm doing good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sentry gun still. And I'm getting low on that. I'm low on every... Everything else except for my four and my five. Five, I've got plenty. All right, we're gonna do this because I don't trust not to have more Xerats coming after me. I'm gonna do this. Park like this. I think I can do it that way. Yeah, cut this off. All right. I think I am safe for the moment. Let's try this. And getting weapons. I mean, you know, like weapons from the guys that I'm killing. Like they don't need them. <laughs> oh, the drones! I'm getting weapons from them. That's weird. I usually don't get like that many weapons from the drones. I'm like, oh yeah, and the 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 these energy bars. See, inner uh weapon here. Uh, that yeah I've got room okay and take that out I think I've got more over well not here there it goes maybe oh that's where I'm storing all those that's right trying to keep it somewhat organized because these I actually come and take if I need them all right see you doom noodle <laughs> we'll, we'll get the other 20% chatting more I'm sure I've still got plenty of time before, or, well, you know, a good nerd, at least an hour before I need to call it. I've got one more core, I think. I'm not even going to worry about coring it yet. I'm just going to make sure I'm not going to be killed when I come back. And this, yes, I, I've seen this design before. I recognize this. I've encountered this on one of the lava planets where it was, yeah, like this kind of stuff happened. I, I, broke windows and it was all open uh thinking maybe there is a core up there i can't remember oh it was hidden behind one of these differs by planet what you get from the drones well i am enjoying this planet then let me just say that also you know i had like overseers over this way that took off running and have not come back. Oh, hi! <laughs> Forgot you might be over there. Let's see. I think... <sighs> there was, when I did these before, I easily found the core. I had to, I think I did have to go, like, up top. Don't I... Didn't I break one of these somewhere didn't I break glass no I did not but I am about to I mean, am I doing anything not much we'll rocket it ice plants have the uh, golems uh, I believe you're talking about golems yes <laughs> but uh that is always helpful I think uh, you know if this is the swamp planet then we do have swamp golems and golems are always nice. You know, my starter planet, I was finding a lot of uh, the desert golems. And using them as a way to get a lot of 
resources like Arrestor and Zaskosium just by farming them, like going out looking for them. And for a while, they actually had like a lot of them spawning in certain places and that was consistent. And then it seemed like some of those spawn points stopped working with one of the updates. So I don't know what happened there with that. Maybe it's just like, oh, we, we need to change it up. And then some of the other ones finally started working again. But yeah, golems are always great to find. I'm sure at some point I will come across them here. That same way, I'm sure at some point I will come across a single restroom deposit since there's apparently a bunch of them here. And I cannot make that jump. I need this to be the launch thing where it launches me way up in the air. You know, like weirdly. Alright, we're going up top this way. I like that I'm getting so much in the way of uh, fusion cells from this too because that keeps me going in terms of this. I don't have to worry about running out of fuel. You know what, that's so slow. Let's just blow it up with the, the big guns. Alright, let's see. What? I don't have much of this. And I really want to kind of keep it, you know, targeted. I don't care about the top one. It'll, it can fall. And no core. Okay, well, um, maybe the core is stealth. That's what it is. It's a stealth outpost because the core is hidden. I really want to find that core. It's got to be somewhere down at the base then. Uh, I really don't want to destroy the gun, but I don't want to get shot either. So let me make sure. Oh yeah, I still got stuff to the west over here. We're going to go this way. And I see that power spiking again. I think it's when I'm actually using my thrusters, you know, to turn a bit. My RCS and everything actually engage readily. I'm turning and moving side to side. It's actually doing more with it there. And then I, wow, I had a whole strip there. We're going to get that too. I want this whole thing mapped. I'm not detecting anything in that direction, but hey, I'm, I'm being particular. I want the planet completely cleared. I want all mapped out. Might as well go up here. See what we got. Oh. Keeps jumping on me. I guess from lagging up, trying to, you know, flip all the way upside down when I do the third person view and then the free cam. Oh, come on. I'm close enough. Give me those. Uh, I don't... I don't remember if I've checked out that one of his. I'm sure he has sent it to me. I cannot remember if I actually got around to looking at it or not. Excalibur sends me pretty much all of his designs when he puts them up. Uh, so I can look at them. This is just one that, you know, I was looking for a small vessel design. He came out with this. And it actually had just attributes that worked well for what I was needing. You know, the dual cockpits, one being inside that's well protected. Uh, I love the, like, ramming front panel look to it. They're like, oh, and I did lose a rocket launcher. Okay, that's what blew up. But it looks like you could, if we could ram things in this game, I would use this ship to do that. I feel like I'm getting, I'm in the same area where I was to begin with when I first came to the planet. I remember a little tundra area and mountain ridges. And since that's, you know, I mean, this is almost, yeah, I gotta be close to where I started. We do have something over here, though. Let's go. Maybe I'll finally find the restroom. But I think it's going to be more likely restroom is going to be all in the southern hemisphere area along the pole. Yeah, this is a very nimble uh, small vessel. That's another thing I liked about it. I have tried other small vessels. And, of course, small vessels that people complained, even when I did the showcase on, saying they were useless. 
and I'm sitting there dodging nearly every single shot from a multi-turret point of interest with that ship because it's small and nimble, allowing it to maneuver around the blast much more easily. And, uh, I, you know, there's some people that just forget about things like that, that, you know, maneuverability is a big deal in some cases, especially when your ship is bigger, being able to maneuver, avoiding, you know, blasts, so you're not just getting shot constantly is helpful. All right, we have covered everything. We're going south. <laughs> hey, Danielle. The Gobbler Starfighter. I have used it. I just don't have a docking spot that works for it. <laughs> I might try to incorporate it into a later capital vessel design setup. But, uh... Right now, I'm just going to stick with this. I, I need to save up some of my resources for uh, bigger builds later. All right, we're going to go south a bit more. I've got stuff to the west, but I feel like it's southwest, actually. Not four right to the south of me, though. Oh, I see it right there. I think that's the drone base. Yeah, we got a drone base looking thing. And a bunch of other stuff. What is that? What is that? Is that ice? Oh, you know, big block of, like rocky snow or just the snow covered rock drone base outpost that's probably another outpost as well oh and then we have another one of those things over there restroom deposits yes and oh, i'm getting shot heavily oh no yeah i'm gonna have to come in with a better approach on this one all right well i know where the big set of stuff is uh, another stealth outpost so that's got several ones on there base two tons of drones yeah this is gonna be a, a funner little attack run there all right we can still keep going west a little bit there's more stuff to the west uh i don't know about an admin station i would think that if there was an admin station it would already be one that you would have marked on the map be like oh hey if you go to this planet, by the way, there's a, a place you can stop, hang out, talk with people, do some trading. You know, it's usually kind of made known, just like I already knew there was the two stations away from the uh, starter planet where I could go trade. Oh, was, well, at least I am still clearing stuff. That's pretty much what this was supposed to be, is all this stream is just exploring finding stuff and then come back to it later to like really get things and I actually got a, a large a restroom deposit where I can sit here and harvest from it and not be getting like just obliterated by a bunch of towers so that's helpful <laughs> right here get, oh oh I'm getting blasted by something I got hit by something. Nothing's shooting at me now, though. And surely I'm not... I wasn't in range with that. Just a power station. Alright, come on, you drones. Yeah, send me a troop transport. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, down, down, down. Three drones right there. This is a little different power station. Once on the starter plane, I only have one, you know, uh, one defensive tower. Oh, and this has got those right there still, too. All right, we're going to park it here for a moment. If I can get in, uh, hop out briefly and turn that off. <laughs> Getting a little too bright there. Ah! Oh, darn. Darn. 
Seriously? Alright, you know what? Forget it. That's not worth it. I'll, I'll get the uh, drone here. And then I'll disable that <laughs> so I, those won't attack me. Alright, there we go. Alright, uh... Oh, door. Going in. And I feel like I'm going to have to blow it up. There we go. Oh, hey, Mr. Tr Transport. <laughs> it it kind of landed and bounced a bunch before finally saying, okay, time to let the guys out. Y'all jump out now. Go ahead and uh, you'll start attacking while I'm, you know, just bouncing, flopping around. There goes the wolves. Howling again. Dot. Just four? Just four of them? Yep. Just four. The, the stone coloring does make it kind of almost look like blood on the ground in some points. Kind of interesting with that. Alright. Oh, and it had a lever. A little switch. Oh, it's one of those tricky ones. You start flipping switches and it it's like this this trap happens kind of thing. All right, let's come on. Give me it. Wish you could just, you know, shift F on these. Be nice just to run up, say, grab everything, go. All right. Okay, we're just going to flip the switches for the different doors. Hope I'm not getting ambushed. Okay, good. Very, very luminous in here. I'll say that. All right. That has got something behind it. Guaranteed. Uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. The spawners don't seem to be working right. I'm not spawning. I mean, the lights are on. It's got power. There's the core. Yeah, I, I know this design. And it, it, the spawners are not working. <laughs> I glitched it. Or, you know, it glitched on its own. Alright, that's that door. I'm just blowing them up just in case they suddenly decide to start working right. I don't want to be getting, like, swarmed. Alright. That, that, you know, got me. Oh, oh, oh. I hear one. But that could be... Nope, there. They did spawn, finally. So, the very last spawner... It took all those switches for the last spawner to start working right. Alright, let's see what we get. What we get? Three auto miner cores, a multi turret. That's gonna give me some good resources. Uh, generator. Uh, ah, Zascosium. Aha! In the back door to the core. There we go. Ah, now it's not purple anymore. Now it's all green. And I can go back out. Come back here later in safety. I need to drop stuff off. All right, all the miners. Mm, not that. More and more food. 
Let's eat. Well fed, gain some health. That. I think, uh. I put. Uh, that one, yeah. There. Keep getting more and more ammo for everything. Oh, life is alright. Uh. New dog Timmy is doing fine. He actually has already settled into a routine of I have editing and recording stuff I do, so he's already <laughs> kind of gotten over it. He's probably in there laying on the couch still. Oh! Fruit transport or nope drone. So that's good. Uh been a busy week with work. Still managed to try and knock out, you know, my videos that I did. Well, just another week, or you know. Standard week of work. Just glad it's the weekend and I can somewhat relax and do other stuff. Work on more stuff for videos. It's just the same routine again. Let's see. We got West still, which I am going. And that's Satellite Wreck. Okay, like an actual satellite or just like it's a... A satellite wreck to something else like this is a satellite element of this base no it looks like an actual satellite that's you I have not encountered a satellite wreck before kind of pop around real quick oh we got a cargo box right there accessible from the outside uh okay a door All right, here we go. We're gonna go inside for a moment. Uh, nothing, you know, showing on the radar. I think I'm good. I like this. It looks like an airlock type thing. The loot time, yeah, that is kind of a problem. I, I don't like how the loot time is so short in certain cases. Like, this will disappear in one minute, and then the next one will be like, this will disappear in four minutes. Like, why can't it just be all four minutes? All the same. Ah, uh, I, I am using up this last one, and I've got more inside, somewhere. I think I put it back here in the same cargo box, yep. Made sure to keep bringing uh, explosives with me. They have a little bit, seems a little bit better kick and more control explosion than uh, using like the the rocket launcher all the time plus I keep getting them at different places can I use it yeah I can sleep okay so it just brings me outside so it's really like not much going here there's the core <laughs> Yeah, not much going on in this one. This is capacitor, little solar capacitor. I'll wait. I, I, I may, I may go ahead and core. I may wait and not do that. I already know what was gonna happen. I'll, it'll break. It'll, it'll have everything fall apart. So I'm not gonna worry about it right now. And I did. I've taken some damage up front. Oh yeah, look at, look at that. I've lost a few blocks. Get some of these repaired real quick while I am uh, able to. We've almost got the planet, you know, mapped out. That was kind of my plan for today is come someplace new and explore, kind of figure out where everything is. I'm getting, I'm close to the pole now. I need to actually go back northward so I can fully map everything. Oh, we got to the north. Perfect. Something I was going to miss. Uh, okay, so apparently I missed something back this way. Now, I got the uh, little restroom deposit there. Did I really miss? I mean, what did I miss? 
Oh, two more in range. Maybe, maybe there it's stuff that's way off in the distance. I mean, I've mapped all this. Maybe it's talking about something like right there. Uh, I'll, I'll keep going east, and suddenly it'll be like, oh, it's to the south. Yeah, okay, something went from south to east. It looked like. I'll just go this way. I mean, it's got stuff pointing this direction. Three things in this direction. I see drones, and there it goes flipping around again. Ah! Yeah, okay. A restroom deposit. Bunch of drones. Look at that. Plasma, plasma, large minigun. Large... Uh, a whole bunch of stuff here. That, yeah, back to this just south of that outpost. We'll just keep going this way. Actually, it looks like I missed some stuff just to the south of it, too. Oh, well. I know where to come get a bunch of supplies. Hey, Eric, that's all right. At least you made it. We still have a little while to go. I'm trying to map as much, of my, as much as I can of this planet. That's something north. Again, I missed something. This is why I wish the, the detectors would go a little bit further than they do. Or that you could actually, like, viewing distance would be a little bit further than what you get. Junkyard. You know what I have yet to see in a while? A, like, friendly point of interest. One of the ones that you can loot without being attacked. It has the little, you know, sentry drone type things. Little, you know, the little walking uh, humanoid sentry ones. I have not seen one of those yet in this, you know, this uh, generated map. Normally you get like one of those at least. Like one of the, you know, research places or something like that. At least on the uh, starter planet. I haven't gotten that here. I got six minutes of power right now. I'll have to get out and uh, reload some power for this. Let's go this way. Apparently, I missed something else over here. Junkyard has cargo bosses. I'm going to come back to it. I'm not that worried about it yet. I'm just more concerned with mapping everything. Oh, we got another large restroom deposit. So, at least it is big deposits I can get. I'm not going to come in here and be like, oh look! Small restroom deposit. I'm going to get a lot of a restroom from here. And then I'll have a restroom meteorites to go and hunt for. Now, we don't have a moon for this planet, so I'm not going to be wasting any time having to go up there trying to find stuff on a moon. And we've already made a good bit of progress on mapping the planet, knowing where everything is. How many I've got seven more arrest from deposits still. Wow. Just still have seven left, and they're mostly in the southern part of the planet. Oh, oh. Is that mountainside, or is that actually a structure of some kind? Like right there in the corner. Oh, well, there's the deposit. Guess that's, like, just part of the mountain. Alright, you are weak and little. There we go. Down, 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 down. I've got plenty of bullets. Thanks to the drones. Ah! All right, uh, yeah, good, close enough. Hopefully I'm close enough for all those. Friendly points of interest, uh, next to train stations. Well, maybe there's a trading station, maybe there isn't, we'll find out. 
I mean, if there is, that would be really useful since I, I don't exactly have like a one jump thing to get to a trading station. Well, it's just growled at me. Overseer. There's overseers just wandering around. Yeah, that is just like mountain terrain right there. Look, all, all dug out and scarred looking. Getting closer to having to stop and actually refuel. Ah. Well, the ship's holding up pretty well. I mean, considering I haven't gone against the hardest part of the planet yet, the little drone base area, and just getting completely obliterated there. And it looks like I am now where it. Oh. I think that's about where I started. So yeah, we just gotta go south, and there we go, a little east. Now it's time to get lined up a good distance here, and we'll start heading back. Maybe chase the sun a bit. Ah, uh, magnesium, you know, and, I mean, I've actually got a decent amount of magnesium right now from just other, you know, collections. myself to a good spot. I think this is a good yeah, that's a good alignment right there. I can slowly work south a little bit too. Ah. Well, it's not a lava world, but I am going to get good resources here. And now that I'm pretty well equipped, this shouldn't take too long, actually. I can I mean, I've already taken out a lot of turrets. I've already cored a few places. You know, I can just go back to those with my hover tank and start dismantling things. Or, you know, go back with my bumblebee, a harvesting tank, and do that. Hmm. Ah, biolab! Well, that's new. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I was wondering if I was going to get shot at. Oh, slow shot, too. It's also lagging up as I'm trying to line up my shots. It's not exactly helping me. Quit lagging on me. Come on, I'm trying to aim. All right, yep, one more. Take it out just so I'm safe from it. Uh, yep, drone. Small drone. It's the quick one to destroy. Wish they could, you know, friendly fire, friendly fire, shoot your buddy. Help me out. Yeah, it keeps giving me little stutters right here in this area. It's throwing off my aiming. The biolab is new. I heard. It sounded like a uh, shot, like a, you know, a sentry turret shot. I think I got it. Sounded like I got it. Some lava worlds have an admin brewery. Well, that's cool. I'll go there and get some beer. Or I guess, you know, wine in this one. I think that's what it is the aqua wine, the sparkling aqua berry, you know, juice. And of course, I know I saw Mr. Overseer there. So I'm not going to exactly, you know, jump down just yet. Uh, see if I get shot at when I land here. Come on, a little, little more. There we go. Like that. And 
and ah ah repair. Ooh, I was about to destroy my cockpit. Yeah, I know. I'm about to get that the power sorted out. <laughs> Alright, where, where, where did I put the... Wait, no, I've got power in here. That's right. I've got some in these. There we go. Oh, and I've got some there. So let's just use that. That's plenty. That's got me covered. Uh, that one and that one. Bunch of PL charges. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I hear, hear, you know, my enemies... Gathering forces below. Alright, yeah, yeah, let's move this. I need to relocate. I think I'm going to try to do it right here. Let's see if I can actually, yeah, park like that. There we go. So maybe, still off kilter a bit. Weird angle. But. Haha. <laughs> hey, stop. Stop spawning. Why you gotta spawn so many? Ah! So you're what was spawning there below me. Oh, good thing I can actually make that jump up. <laughs> yeah, this is this is stuttering here. Ah! Yep, there it goes. That stutter is going to get me hurt on this. All right, there we go. Like, like that. Okay. Think. Drone. You say it's just it keeps like stuttering for just a moment. And that that stutter is going to get me killed at some point. Why is it only stuttering at this location? Let's say okay, gun. 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 Yeah. Uh, this is irritating me a bit. I don't know if maybe it's just because of how long I've been going. Maybe something with the streaming element of it is like, you know, processing is kind of causing it to lag up a bit. But it seems to be getting worse right here. I think we're going to have to wait on this one. Maybe do it at a start of another uh, stream. Because, yeah, this is starting to, like, lag too much for me to feel safe. Like, I'll get killed just trying to, you know, walk around because I can't react without it. Like, oh yeah, I'm shooting him in the head and then he moves to the side. But hey, we got plenty of stuff already cleared. Almost got the whole thing mapped out. I think I can finish this really quick. Just to get the, uh, the actual visuals of everything mapped out. That's the main thing is I want to know where everything is. Especially the uh, deposits. There it goes. That one did take a moment. It is still stuttering a bit. Alright, we're down to 7 out of 12. And most of the other ones I've gotten. You know, there's some spots here that's not actually that bad visually where you would, like, park. Like, I might park on something like that. That's got a decent flat spot for my capital vessel to sit on and deploy from. Apparently, the uh, patrol vessel has not managed to make it far enough south yet. All of these deposits are large with the arrest room, so that is good. Another power station. That should be two, uh, two more of the uh, defensive turrets there. Uh, there's another, another one of those overseers. I might have to add an extra couple of turrets to my bumblebee when I come out harvesting.
Yep, we got. Oh, this is one. Oh yeah, it has some extras. More than just two. It's got four. It's got the small ones though. Little red shooting ones. There we go. Now, I get you guys to follow me. Come on, come over here. Back, back this way a little bit. Now, a little further away from that fourth tower, just so I don't get a surprise attack. Stun oh, that, see, there it goes. It, it, give me that little surprise attack. That fourth tower over there. Oh, minigun guy got some damage on me there. Come on, who's shooting me? Think. Yep, there goes that one. Alright, let's... Come on, let me get over here. Let me just... Really? I think that other one's already despawned. Yeah, they need to adjust the times. Because there's some things that will be like... This will despawn in four minutes. And then there's other things that is, This will despawn in one minute. Like, why is this one only one minute? Why can't I have some more time? Maybe I need... Really? That's tall enough to... Oh, there's the other one. Okay. So that gun was apparently... You know, I was high enough up for it to shoot the thing down. Or, oh, I know what it is. It's the turret on the side there. Shooting at me. Let's stay back over this way. Ah! Ah. All right. Uh, let's see. I, I I'm not even gonna worry about the Xerax guy over there. Ah. All right. We're gonna blast the door open. Who crashed shuttle? Oh, hey. Uh, same thing. <laughs> oh, and there's an upstairs that I didn't get on the other one. Okay. All right, we, I've got this unprotected now. It's time to keep moving. Crashed shuttle. Uh, does not look too large in our restroom deposit. Another drone I can take out for goodies. Drones are easy ones to take out. So, you know, why not get them? So they could then send, you know, replacements. And I get more later. That's more stuff for me. And hi, Alex. You have not missed uh, too much. It's pretty much going to be the same thing the rest of the time. Just more of me wandering around trying to finish mapping out this planet. We are on now a uh, swamp, marsh type, you know, fog planet with a lot of arrest room deposits. Getting goodies. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. All right. So we're, we're getting to that point. I'm almost done mapping. Just a few little things here and there that I might miss because I didn't quite get in range to detect it. Like this thing over here. This is, this is gonna be a deposit over here. Or oh, crash, crash capital vessel. Or plasma drone too. Ooh, that's an interesting looking vessel design. That's one I might wait till I have like my bumblebee out here. Oh, 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 yeah, just above the water, please. Let's scope this out. The, the, the water is a little brown here. That worries me a bit. It is brown water. Okay. So, we got supplies, stuff here. Let's see. Um, mainly we can see, like, turrets and stuff. That's really what I'm concerned with is like are there turrets available for me to collect maybe might be buried okay we'll, we'll be back uh, yes it looks to be like a Masperon type planet I think was it Tarbis yeah Tarbis 
Not TARDIS. They're they're not copying Doctor Who. You know, no copyright, trademark stuff there. It's Tarbis with a B. Okay, so I've got nothing else showing on my radar for a change. No red marks. Now, if it, you know, play field like Masperon, yeah. Uh, but what's interesting, it has no moon, so we're not going to its moon to get Zaskosium. And it has a lot of Arrestrum deposits. So, okay, a big chunk of area I did not get before. Keep going too far south. There we go. So, let's see what we got left. We have... Ooh, I did miss a big area up there. So, basically... Mostly south, but a little bit... You know what? How, how far back is it? I guess I'll just... I'll keep going south all the way to the end and come back and kind of go up a bit. We do have only two more restroom deposits. I like that this has a breathable atmosphere. It seems like it would be toxic. You know, from the look of it, that's just the way it looks, but it has a breathable atmosphere, which means I'm not having to worry about O2 here. And oh yeah, something north. Yeah, I'm coming back. Uh, I, I, I could go the other way around, but I, I figure I'm like so close right here, I'm just gonna go this way, all the way here, and then come back up that way, and then kind of go up there. I mean, I could go up north and south like that. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it that way. There's such a big chunk up here. I'm sure it's going to have some good stuff. We'll just kind of go north and like map all this. See, like right there. Magnesium deposit. And I'm getting a good bit of coverage right here. Getting like three blocks worth. This may actually make the mapping part go a little bit faster. I need to fix my cockpit again. Alright. Here we go. So. Yeah, we're going to stick with this. I'm just going to go north, south, north, south. Uh, that way I can map it quicker. Because I'm getting better coverage as I'm going. Like this way, I'm going to cover all those blocks. So this will be easy enough. Oh, now something to the south. Ooh, Promethium deposit. That's good. I do need more Promethium. I'm down to like one stack from all the fusion cells I've been making. So I can, you know, be like fully stocked for power. So now I'll actually be able to start focusing with this on ammo. Old farm. Oh, there's the, the, you know, patrol vessel. He's back. Back for more punishment. Because he can't, can't get revenge. I've already uh, taken all the weapons out. <laughs> all the real weapons to worry about. So. I don't have to worry about that. Looks like it's flying higher than normal, though. Like, he's going off into space. <laughs> he's leaving the planet. Like, alright, well, we lost him. He took out everything, and then he just ran away. We lost him. We're gonna go and just leave the planet. That's what it looks like. It looks like they're leaving the planet. They may be glitched. Which, if they're glitched, I want to make sure they're not actually going to leave. Because if it just kept going in that direction, it would eventually fly out. Okay, are you gonna hit me now? Can I interact with you? Nope. Still just clip right through it. Alright, as long as you don't leave the planet, 
Because I, I do still want to get stuff off of you. We're, we're good. We're cool. Alright, let's go this way. We'll just go west. Alright, make sure I've got as much stuff reloaded as I can. I do like that most of the weapons I'm using right now, I am getting ammo for them. And look, it's going up again. It might actually be trying to leave. Uh, old farm is worthless. Well, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, what, grow plots? I've got plenty of grow plots. I need to sell some grow plots. I'm over a lake, and there's just, you know, three random drones out in the lake. Or maybe these are drones being sent to reinforce the ones I've already destroyed? Oh, I'm so glad to get this back and actually get everything repaired, too. Yeah, that might be like a uh, reinforcement drones coming out because of all the ones I've been shooting down. Oh. Let's see. Alright. The old farm has way less grow plots. Well, again, I mean, I'm not worried about the grow plots anyway. I've got too many. I need to sell some, actually. But, I mean, I'll eventually go by there and look at it. It may be one of those that I don't even worry about putting a core in. I just get the uh, raw materials. And uh, I'm in the water. I I'm still wanting that aquatic submarine type vessel, you know, that we would hopefully get. So I can go submersible and, you know, swim around the oceans. But we got ocean planets. Why not give us that? Uh... All right, so a drone there. Yep, kind of towards the uh, upper area I need to clear anyway. Ah, boom. All right, that, that, yeah, that should, well, there we go. Almost had it rot. Oh yeah, we're gonna say this is acid because look, the rib cage was some big animal that made it out there. Unless there's like big aquatic creatures. Old farm has solar panels and that's about it. Well, yeah, I'll get solar panels. I'll I'll go get stuff off of it, regardless whenever I finally come back through to harvest it. Which will probably be when I use the uh, bumblebee after I've taken out, like, everything substantial. You know, no more, uh, no patrol vessel to worry about, no drone base to worry about. Just come back through and do that. When I'm uh, harvesting out the massive uh, arrestrum deposits. Getting my thousands and thousands of arrestrum. It's not Subnautica, but hey, it's also a case of why just hover vessels? Why not vessels with wheels on them? Why can't we have a natural rolling tank? We need that kind of thing added to the game. You really, we need that for variety. And they've got a water world. Why not give us the ability to have a submersible type thing that has to be like deployed in a way that you can do that, you know? People have been asking about submersible bases. People have been asking for that in the game. I would love to have an in-water base that I don't have to worry about putting dirt in, like filling it with dirt so I can remove it and have air. I would love to have something like that where I can have, oh, this is my permanent home planet that I'm going to continue to reside on and have a, a base where I could come down from like up in space and have the hatch where I fly in the cargo bay open up from the water surface is like right there level with the water surface and it just opens up, let me in and then everything is underwater. That would be cool. We need stuff like that.
Thanks for joining us, Lee. Glad you could finally uh, catch a stream. And yeah, I mean, if, if yes, okay, you've got certain copyright aspects, but I don't see space engineers being able to say, "Hey, we copyrighted the wheel in a game." You know, otherwise, then Plant Nomads would be having to pay them for that, and you'd have all these other games that came out before Space Engineers that they would be paying the Space Engineers people for, you know, copyright, saying, oh, well, we, we came out with the game five years ago and had wheels in it, but, yo, you've copyrighted it. Now, there, there, there's going to be a way that they can get around that and not have to pay a copyright in terms of just adding wheels to the game. They just need to figure out a way to do it that it doesn't look visually like Space Engineers. Then we could have that summit. And Space Engineers, you know, if they ask for copyrights on something like that, that's just them wanting money, even though they're like, how are you going to copyright something that other games have been using for a long time? Oh, we want to copyright their use of wheels. It's if they implement wheels in here in the same fashion as in Space Engineers with certain same elements. And hey, same thing with Planet Nomads. Planet Nomads has wheels, has uh, struts and stuff like that, you know, uh, shock absorber type thing. I don't think they're paying Space Engineers uh, copyright stuff on that. So it's just a matter of if Space Engineers wants to try and bully the Empyrean developers, they can, but it'll, you know, they're not going to win on that. Alright, we've got a ruined landing pad. Obviously not for the patrol vessel. If there's a patrol vessel, there should be a patrol vessel landing pad somewhere still, right? Or did they take that out? Because I really want to find a patrol vessel landing pad so I can be like, hey, this can be a good spot for me to park my capital vessel later. You know, take it over, use it as a base. I've always kind of done that when my CVs would actually fit on those. Yeah, I did see that they uh, they were trying to switch to the new Unity engine and had to revert back because of problems, but that's, that's going to happen even if they didn't. I mean, they don't have wheels and they're having problems, so even if they added wheels, at some point they're going to still have problems with it they have to work out. It's now or later is the question of when they do it. I just think if they did add at least submersible vehicles, something like that where you can have a little submarine, It'd be cool because for that to really function and be usable, you're gonna have to have a way for it to dock in. You can't, you don't want to just make something and leave it on the planet. So they need something. Now, obviously, they're not going to do like Subnautica. Here's a sea glide, you know. But we could have something like a, you know, the motorbike in a way that you can use for underwater. Make, get rid of the motorbike. Give us something that can just be used underwater. A little. You know, jet propelled waterboard thing. And yep, you know, that HV core wheels, they could do that sort of thing where it doesn't even have to be really functional wheels. If they just gave us better looking wheels for visuals, you can still have it where it technically hovers. Though I think a lot of people are like, hey, if we've got, you know, good looking wheels in this we should be able to actually use the wheels and roll along the ground that that should be the proper implementation for that not just for the looks but so you can actually roll around on the ground with them and use them like proper wheels ah, two large plasma drones I like you you're giving me good supplies I trust You stop stuttering, please. All right, here we go. We're going to uh, level out a bit. I think I'm close enough to both of them. Maybe, maybe he's a little bit lower, you know.
Maybe? Maybe close enough? At least to grab them? And yeah, if we could get real information LCDs, I think that would be great. But, you know, we talked about that on the creator challenge. About how, in some cases, even just the aspect of creating like a better editor type thing for the LCD test. Just to make it where you could have uh, certain parts bold and things like that may not work in the game without a major change just because of the way they got it implemented. Which, you know, sometimes is the thing to do. You know, I'm the way I edit videos now is not the way I did originally because I learned I needed to do it better as I was working on things. As I was learning more and figuring out ways to make things work better, I was like, oh, I should do it differently. So maybe looking at it from that standpoint they might decide yeah we do need to uh do some reworking on this to make things run a little bit better all right try to make it where i can get rid of these all at the same time and collect their supplies you know what we'll go faster i hope there we go yeah Oh, I've actually got a good bit of ammo for the cannon right now, so we'll just do this. Haha! <laughs> little delayed response. Alright, let's see. Uh, get, get me close enough. Alright, gotta, gotta get this quickly before it despawns everything. And I want the plasma drones. They give me good stuff. Four minutes. I think that said four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. So now, these are giving me four minutes. I've had other ones, like the, the robots, will despawn in one minute. Like, why can't you just let it despawn all four minutes or ten minutes? Or make it where this will despawn and you'll lose the ability to get supplies from it in ten minutes. 15 minutes, whichever, something like that, but once you empty it, it then shuts the countdown to, like, you know, a minute. Like, after you completely drained all their supplies, they will despawn in a minute. Simple fix. You know, hey, here's the countdown. Every 10 seconds, or every 15 seconds, loop, check and see, is their inventory still? Yes? Okay, resume or continue countdown uh no inventory is in, uh empty zero no however they're recording it okay now uh sh reset countdown to 60 seconds and then let it run and then it stops counting yes the bigger you build the harder it is on the system but you know in plant nomads there's a lot of stuff that needs to be optimized still with it as that's been ongoing for a while. People saying, yes, this game still needs a lot of optimization. And it's the same with this. It's the same with others. It's the same even with Subnautica. Subnautica is a full release, and there's still stuff that will stutter at times. Uh, and not necessarily like big build stuff. There's just some stuff that does still act up where it could be better optimized. They could have worked on some stuff differently. Uh, experimenting with tracks and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know about the train between two bases. It'd be nice. I'd be more pleased with them putting in efforts to say, hey, uh, we've made it where HVs and SVs can dock together. So if the small vessel is at least twice the size, you know, rating of the hover vessel, it can actually lift and carry the hover vessel. Or maybe do something where they actually have it so that now... You have, okay, this small vessel can only lift the hover vessel and do something with, like, weight ratio kind of thing. Uh, so it has to be a weight uh, value of a certain amount and the thrusters be able to handle that. And then same thing with the hover vessels. If the small vessel weighs too much or is too big, it can't fit on the docking pad area. And if it does fit, it cannot move. The hover vessel can't move because it's too heavy or it moves but it moves very slowly you know things like that can be done something like that would be probably more well received and seen as beneficial by most players 
uh, than trying to do like where you can build a train between two stage uh, two bases. And you know, hovers are more futuristic, but think about it. At some point, you're still going to have wheels for something, probably, just because of a you know efficiency of power. Maybe make it where hover vessels. It's not like hover vessels. Make it ground vessels. You know, a uh, ground vessel where you can have either hover jets or wheels. Hover jets allow you to stay above the terrain, move faster along the terrain, and all that. But uh, the the you know wheels are much more power efficient. You know, if you want something that's going to give you more longevity and more uh, time in terms of power usage, go with wheels. Now let's get this dropped in here. I think. Is it dot? There it goes. Alright, let's. Uh, first, I need to get my food out. So I turned off the power. Let's make sure nothing spoils. And I'm going to get my repair going on this. Uh, I think actually I can put everything in to there. If I can, you know, select the right one. Well, I guess we're going to have to... <laughs> I'm going to do something else with all this extra raw meat that I have. All right, we got that. Uh, you have plasma cannons. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's a good result there. I'll dump, dump this stuff in as well. I've actually cleared some stuff out, and I have a lot of core components. And you see right here, so this is like for the quick build stuff that is, you know, I need to make some electronics, uh, make new miners or whatever like that. You know, the auto miners. That will be done there. This is my power production. And as you can see, I am out of <laughs> Prometheum. No more Prometheum. So I think I'm actually going to leave that off for now and stick with maybe farming drones for more stuff and getting other things. Uh, the ship I was just flying, Jason, is the Talon Blade Tactical uh, Advantage. I think is the full name for it. I, I did a showcase for it recently. It's an Excalibur design. Looks great. And, uh, oh, I did not make a template for it beforehand. Great. So, I'm going to have to rebuild this now. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I did not repair it. I did not make a template like I was supposed to. So, I'm going to have to redo this this week. Great. Well, that is my mess up. So, I will have to redo it. Do something unless somebody can say a way to you know force a template on it but oh man yeah I'm gonna have to redo it I think oh well I will get this stuff taken out and do some more stuff but we have mapped the whole planet Tarbis uh, there's no moon here so I don't know really where to fly around the asteroid belt looking for points of interest for it uh, so I guess I'm probably not going to even worry about the orbit stuff. I'm just going to have to, you know, do other stuff. But I'll, I'll empty this all out. I'll rebuild it and make a new template. It used to be I would actually just do this sort of thing before we had the repair option to template. I would build a ship, fly it down, use it until it wasn't usable anymore, or I cleared the planet, come back up, and then build a brand new one. So uh, I'm just going to build another one. I'll actually even go ahead and get it started right now just so it can be underway. For most part, I've got everything I need. I'll break it down, toss all that stuff in. We've got a good bit of supplies on this run, though. I mean, let's see. Right there, that's a bunch. We'll take some of that. I have plenty of power you know, from those drones. I think I've got a lot from the drones, actually. And I still have... Uh, I have more auto monitor cores now. Let's see, how many do I still have? Where did I put them? I look... I, did I use them all up? Or no, that's right. I put them here. I still have 40 auto monitor cores. Now 43. Uh, <laughs> and I actually have a total of 23 T3 auto monitors already built, ready. I should be... 
I should be a half the planet. I could set it up and let it just run, you know, on all the monitors, even though they're not the, the fastest way. And hey, Mark, how's it going? Let's see, what am I dumping in here? We'll dump that, that, that. Oh, there we go. Yep, that. And then I'm still waiting for an auto sort thing. Now that I've started doing some Nautica with auto sorting, <laughs> uh, I'm actually getting ready to start really doing more with it on the auto sorting mod aspect. I am so excited to do that, and I really wish I had that in this game. Auto sort stuff like that. And oh, I did miss those. Okay, uh. I think that's it. Now I've got some ammo to dump off that I haven't, that I didn't need. Yep. It's a good supply. It's good, good run for today. I mean, covered most of the planet, you know, already. What is that? Silicon? No, that is just iron and gold. Where's, where's my, there's my gold. Look at that. More gold. Uh, Genova Cargo Miner. I have not gotten to look at that one. I, I've still got quite a few on my list uh, that I, I've got to get through. It's just it's a matter of time availability. Uh, and yeah, there is still a lot for me to farm down there. So this is going to be a lot of stuff to do. I may, on my next run down, take the auto miners and start deploying them so I can have them running. And I said, I did have a medical thing over here. I think I did. Maybe I did over this one. I started trying to reorganize some on this too. Oh yeah. That's, I, I still have a lot of reorganizing to do for this part, getting more of that stuff cleared out where it's, uh, it's redesigned to fit better. I mean, this, I'm not going to fill up eight of these, so I've got to redo that a little bit. Ah, let's go. Have we got more of those? Uh, I think. Yeah, I've almost got. There we go. Look at that. I've almost got a whole row of MREs. <laughs> the rations. It's because I'm producing four at a time now. Let's see. Anything else notable? Alien honey plant, corn sprout. Ah. No, bunch more of the, you know, boost, which I do need to look at my armor setup again now because of the increased gravity there. Oh, what's that? Adrenaline shots. Don't really use them. Plasma cannons, stuff like that. So I've got some stuff I can use with a uh, deconstructor later and that would be uh, good. Uh, a new HV called Horizon. Uh, okay, I might try to check that out. I know Excalibur just made a brand new hover vessel. Like, you know, level 5 unlock for starter worlds, too. Uh, that I have not gotten to take a look at. Make sure if you want, you know, you post it on the Discord server. We do have the stuff there for everybody to share their designs out. So make sure you're posting it there. So, uh, you don't have to wait on me to get time to look at it. Everybody else can kind of look at it, get you some comments going. There we got that. I had some place I was putting the night vision goggles so I could sell them. I think it was on the other side. Mm hmm. Guns, deco. Yep. Tank. You see how much stuff I used to have in this and I no longer have there. Like all my boxes are cleared because of that deconstructor. I had that thing running and running and running, trying to get rid of stuff. That, we got, uh, oh yeah, pentaxid, uh, yeah, there, we got some regular pentaxid, motors and such, you can go here, my uh, steel plate, I think, nope, I still have too much steel plate, not enough hardened steel plate. All that. Uh, I did go to a couple of the uh, the traders in those stations, but none of them had anything I could like, you know, sell the soup mods to. 
No, no trader for that. So I do need to hopefully find an admin, but apparently we don't have one on this planet because I went through the whole thing, could not find it. Uh, Coradessa, that's actually. I don't see why we didn't know about that one already. It, it looks like it comes pretty close <laughs> there. If for me to know about this one and not know that one, really, you think you could just look up in the sky and see it, uh, or look, you know, when I'm here, I would see it closer than that. That might be a lava world because it's so much closer to the star, but I was wrong about this one being a, a hot desert world. Let's eat up some of this junk food I've got. There we go. And was that all of it? I think that was most, if not all, of that. No, that's still a little bit more. So, yes, uh, we'll go ahead and get ready to call this and end to the stream today. I will, I guess, since we really never did come to a definitive, like, hey, this is what we want to do for the creator challenge, I will put up a quick poll after this and see what everybody wants to do and just to recap kind of the idea that was suggested to me was uh to have hover vessels work as like lifts but i think what we're going to do is focus more on it being like hover vessels at, or svs as an extension of the design of a capital vessel that they actually serve not just as a look because you can easily add a, a vessel on to add a little bit of a look to something I, I was thinking more of here is a vessel that actually has some kind of functionality obviously we're not going to be doing functionality like adding weapons because they did take that away from us unfortunately i uh, was really enjoying having that kind of thing uh at one point but you know something like Oh yeah, this, uh, you know, by using this as a hover vessel attached underneath, it adds a support lift to the vet, uh, to the design. Say like you have a ship that's not meant to dock that actually land. It's meant to stay in orbit, but if you land and it has the hover vessels attached underneath, it actually has those to allow it to sit on the planet. Uh, that, that would be kind of an interesting idea. So something where you can take the hover vessel and small vessel and augment a capital vessel with them in terms of some sort of functional element. Uh, other option was hover vessel walkers. <clears throat> and specifically hover vessels is, I believe, what was stated. Uh, basically something that looks like maybe an AT-AT -AT walker. Something that obviously isn't going to actually walk, but looks like that. And my thought was, hey, let's just do a whole walk theme type setup where it's uh, you can either have them walk like that. Or you can do it where it attaches to a hover or a capital vessel and looks like the capital vessel can walk or it has legs that it can use for like, you know, a big tank. Think, uh, what was that? Wild Wild West where they had a big spider tank. Something like that you could attach to the capital vessel. So again, something that kind of ties in with that. Uh, and then, uh, what was the, uh, the third one we had? Oh, space station. If you want to build a space station, that's the third option. So I will get a poll put up shortly for both of those so if you want to sit there and put in your vote we'll see how that goes in the next uh, few days and that way next week we can announce the actual option for it, even though it does kind of cut us down a bit on how long we'll have usually i like to give you at least the three weeks but we i, I couldn't make up my mind on which one so we'll do a vote for it and see what everybody thinks uh but yes that's it for today uh, for this stream, we've mapped the planet. We found pretty much everything. I now have to rebuild the new Talon Blade ship <laughs> completely because I forgot to do the template. But I'll get that done this week before next episode. And next episode, we'll probably... I'll pick a spot and we'll land the Nomad down there and kind of set it up for protection, I guess. And uh, we'll, we'll go down, you know, uh, as far as like hey, you know, here's where I'm going to park and deploy my hover vessel and we'll probably actually go back to using the Anuma, uh, Anubis for a little bit so I can go around, maybe use it to try and do an assault on the drone base area because there's so many turrets there. Or actually, I might go back uh, and do some more with the Talon first there, try to take those out with my new Talon ship and then we'll take the Nomad around. But the patrol vessel's been de-armed uh, no weapons to damage me, so 
yeah, it, it's it's I should be relatively safe landing this here on the planet and just leaving it for defending against drones. But that will be what I get rave this week for next week. Again, poll coming up shortly. I'll put a link in the description for this, and I'll put a link on the Discord for it if you want to check it there. But as always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys next time.